Okay, this next game uh, I played tonight against my computer. It was Fritz 11. Uh, I was black and the time control was... Uh, well, it was a 3 minute blitz game. And uh, I found this game pretty interesting. I played... it was the... well, uh, very unusual Sicilian for me. I mean, normally I don't play like that, this against a uh, human opponent. Uh, well, I don't, I'm not really sure. I, I believe this is actually still opening theory. And uh, obviously we can see that black has control of the d5 square, but on the other hand, white has control of the d5 square. So, and here we played, or the computer played f5. A little bit uncomfortable. I played uh, knight to a5, just seeing, uh, sort of forcing white to make some sort of move here. I mean, he can play bishop b3, bishop d5, bishop b5 check or anything. So the computer played bishop g5, allowing me to take over here, which uh, would actually be a bad idea because after knight takes c4, d takes uh, c4, this pawn on d6 would be weak, and also his knight is coming to d5, so it would be a mistake to take the, to take the bishop. Although it's, it is generally said that bishop uh, also likely stronger than knights, but in uh, in a game like this, that's not actually true because. In this game, knights are actually more important than bishops because the center is completely closed, and uh, I can't even play bishop e6, you know, to control the, the the d5 square. And my knight is the only piece actually attacking the d5 square. So I play bishop e7, knight f3, and here I went back to g8 because obviously I want to keep my knight so so that I can control the d5 square. And also, if he takes, that's just better for me because then I can just take back, and my knight would be on a on a better square. But I was actually looking at, for example, if bishop takes bishop, knight takes uh, bishop, a move like f6, you know, sacrificing a pawn, messing up my pawn structure, and uh, it would be kind of uh, difficult for, to, uh, to castle and get away. But he played queen d2, or it played queen d2. Uh, and after h6, bishop takes e7, knight takes e7. Castle Sloan. Again, now I have control of the d5 square, and also if he ever puts this bishop there, I don't have to take, obviously, and if, uh, and if the knight, I can just take, or just leave things there as they are for, for I mean, if knight, take, if knight d5, then even knight c6, and I have control of the d5 square. And also, again, f6 uh, looks kind of interesting, I don't, I'm not sure. For example, if rook f4. This rook over here to f1, or, or this rook, and then then just play f6. Maybe I don't know. A6 stopping a potential check or whatever. Bishop d5. Obviously I don't want to take, so I went back with my knight. King b1, queen a5. I can't really talk too long about this game because I don't have much time. So basically what I was doing was that I, I just closed things off. And uh, I mean, any computer wants to breakthrough, so I'm you know, forcing black to, sorry, sorry, white to make a choice. I need to go back or just take my bishop, but he went back to b3, and I went back to c6, knight d5, just trying to ex exchange a piece anywhere, you know, and I went back to d8, knight takes e7. Notice that it's kind of interesting, whenever the computer offers a trade, I don't trade, I just leave things as SDR and, and uh, sort of improve my position. So I went back with my queen and he took and I took back and it looks exactly like the way it did, except now, now two knights are, have been traded off and uh, well it looks kind of dangerous, I mean if you look at my king he's sort of exposed, he, he has his bishop on b3 but he can't actually get it, use that bishop anywhere, he can't get through my king is completely safe but it will get even safer. Um, and again, now the computer wants to trade, obviously, because if I would take now on e7, e6, then after f takes e6, this file would be open, and, and this pawn would be the only uh, piece in the way, and, uh, and my king would be still be sort of stuck here in in front of all his uh, his pieces, and uh, it would be also difficult to play, ever get away with the king because it, then there would be this pawn on e6. Obviously, I did, I did not take. I played a4, a3, b8. 
he's not the only one who can start some sort of attack. I play bishop, bishop e8, just attacking, uh, guarding this square one more time, g6. Knight to h4. And here I've just started at do, you know, doing something on his king side, b4, king a2, queen b6. Obviously, I don't want to take here because if I take here after rook b1, then his rook would, the b file would be open up and uh, that would be a very bad idea. So, queen d8, h3. I was a little bit scared of his pawns. Maybe he could play something like h4, h4 g4, and then possibly something like g5 or whatever. But obviously it didn't work, the computer has everything calculated out, so Bishop f7, King a1, Queen e8, and uh, Queen g3, Knight c6, takes, takes, and now my position looks actually pretty good, I mean, okay I'll sacrifice, the reason obviously why the computer uh, sort of agreed to this um, trade was that after Queen takes, Knight g6 check, I, I have to, I, it was actually exchange sacrifice because I mean okay I lose, a, I lose a rook for a knight but on the other hand he can't get through anywhere as you can see here and that queen f2 and now knight d4 completely sort of proving that black has everything under control and, and here rook f2 d1 b3 and now Rook B to C1. I didn't. I could have won. Okay. Maybe I could have played something like uh, Knight takes C2 with check, and just left my knight there. You know, and the game would have been completely drawn anyway. But instead, I played B takes C2, and he gave back through the exchange with Rook takes, Knight takes, Queen takes, Queen B3, and here here's the trade and the game ended up completely drawn as you can see. Why can't this game get through anywhere? Neither can I. So the game was drawn on move 48 of the rook d1. So let's go back to the opening one more time. A little bit quite unusual. I don't play this way like I said against human opponents. But against computers I believe that it's good to close things up. I mean in the center. Not giving for example again making unusual moves, not allowing any trades too early. As we, as we saw here, for example, he trade the computer tried it tried it several times to trade off his and and I never gave, gave him any chance to sort of pick. Again here. And I just left things as they were. And here of course the the sacrifice. Okay, hope you enjoy these two videos that I made tonight. And uh, the first one was against a human opponent that I won, and uh, this was against Fritz Eleven.